Uh, in the uh, first segment, we want to uh, welcome in Kristen Stolifer from the Charlestown Utility Board. Kristen, good morning to you. Good morning. And Bob Trainer, Mayor of Charlestown. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. And also from the Charlestown Utility Board, Jeff Witten, who joins us via telephone. Jeff, good morning to you as well. Good morning. Can you hear everybody okay, Jeff? I can, yes. Thank you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, our conversation here this morning is water, right? I mean... Uh, they they say the next wars will be fought over water, right? Future wars will be fought over water. I don't think we're at that point here, but uh, there are some issues to discuss, and there are some concerns about increasing prices, too, for uh, customers in Jefferson County. And, uh, Kristen, I wonder if you could kind of summarize what the situation is and why you are concerned about it. Sure. The uh, Charlestown Utility Board has been involved in several Public Service Commission cases related to the purchase of JUI, Jefferson Utilities, um, by West Virginia American Water. Um, that is something that we're not uh, necessarily um, opposed to, but there are certain provisions in that purchase agreement that we take, we have concerns with. Um, there are two distressed utilities, um, sewer utilities in that purchase agreement um, on the sewer side that uh, in our service territory, we have um, we are, you know, the closest proximate utility. Um, so that's, you know, something that we are, that we would like to see uh, um, the, the Public Service Commission come our way with, um, pull mm -hmm. those out of the agreement um, and connect those systems to the Charlestown Utility Board. Um, there's also a water utility uh, within our service territory um, that, you know, we are concerned that if that goes, that that's purchased by West Virginia American Water, um, that uh, that will have a negative impact on our system and the customers in our uh, service area. In both cases, talking about price in both sewer and this small water utility, we're talking about, you say, concerns, these concerns related to price? So we have concerns from an environmental perspective. We also have concerns for the customers. Uh, there are significant uh, rate increases that are gonna be, um, that the citizens of Jefferson County are gonna be looking at. Um, Can you define significant, Kristen? Sure, so basically 45% up to 125% increases for water and the small sewer customer base that are included in that agreement. If I can, can we move back a little bit? Uh, uh, each water utility in the state of West Virginia is managed independently, and uh, West Virginia American Water are, are buying up several of these. Uh, Lee Snyder, with, uh, uh, with the previous, uh, before he sold, was one of the least expensive as far as rate goes uh, to the customer. Is that correct? I wouldn't say that. Okay, um, so, okay. so Lee Snyder does own currently Jefferson Utilities, right, yes, and that's mm -hmm. the 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 uh, purchase that we're talking about. Um, those JUI rates are, I'd say, in the fifteen to twenty percent above other municipal water okay. facilities in the in the region. Fair um, enough, so, okay. I think probably more on the higher side. And so on the higher side, so what you, you think the fear is, it's going to become even higher. It will absolutely become even higher. So the, the rate increases are going to be 45% above JUI rates um, today, um, up to 125% increases. And that's really hard for customers to, to um, handle those types of increases. That's well, a doubling of the rate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why is this happening now? Kristen? Uh, well, I think, you know, Lee Snyder has, um, is, is ready to, to sell his utility. And again, we're not opposed to mm -hmm. that yeah. necessarily. Um, but we are concerned with um, extensions into other service territories that would impact our customer base and our future uh, planning and, um, uh, you know, expansion in the future. Yeah. Uh, the two water you're talking about uh, excuse me, the two sewer you're talking about and the one water utility you're talking about could you, that you are opposed to being conveyed to a West Virginia American water. Could you explain a little bit about what those, those three utilities are? Sure. 
Uh, Shenandoah Junction Public Sewer is um, a distressed sewer utility that we have been working with over the past, I'd say, two years um, to connect that system. They are, in fact, under a consent order to connect to our sewer utility. Um, it's about a thousand foot extension to our system. And um, prior to this purchase agreement, by West Virginia American Water, we were the, um, you know, they were going to connect to our system. That's been put on hold based on this agreement. Um, the other utility is Cave Road Utilities. Um, so that is a water, a distressed uh, sewer, and also a water utility that is within our service area. I'd say our connection is about 3,000 feet um, from that utility. The closest JUI uh, utility is over. Um, over a mile so um or i'm sorry over five miles i apologize um so again we are the closest proximate utility we think that the that that system needs to be connected to our municipal public utility and we can provide service without any negative impact to the customers in both scenarios so the contract that was signed by lee schneider to sell uh to west virginia american water uh those three utilities were included Yes. Okay. I read in the uh, Information Public Service Commission, I had the impression the Public Service Commission agreed with you that these three should not convey. Am I correct on that? That's correct. Okay. Uh, why does American Water want these three utilities? I believe, uh, just my personal opinion, that you know they're looking to expand. They're looking at an opportunity in the Eastern Panhandle um, to uh, increase their customer base. Um, so I think that, you know, th these utilities will offer them that ability to expand. But uh, am I not correct? I think I'm correct that uh, these three utilities are a very small, small part of what has been sold and what will be conveyed. Yes, absolutely. So, so rel if we're talking about one to, uh, one to 100, what percent would these three be? Oh, I'd say less than one one percent. Yeah. Um, so Cave Road Utilities is roughly about fifty customers, mm -hmm. and the Shenandoah Junction uh, utility is, um, I think, one hundred and fifty or so, one hundred and sixty. Out of how many? Out of thirty three hundred customers. Thirty three hundred. Okay, yes, good. Yes, in the in the agreement. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Charles. Tell Mayor Bob Train. I mean, you have your thoughts on this, if you would might, would mind chipping in there. Yeah, I think that um, essentially it's two two business models, if you will, with the. Uh, Jefferson Utilities and West Virginia American Water and the Charleston Utility Board. Charleston Utility Board is a public utility. And so in the development in Jefferson and Berkeley County for that matter, I think those are really the only, the panhandles where the most of the development in West Virginia is happening. So a developer comes in and they're gonna open up maybe a hundred homes or something like this. And so under our, under the uh, Charleston Utility Board's business model is they're gonna, the developer will pay a little bit to, for that sewer service and that water service. Whereas uh, Jefferson Utilities and West Virginia American Waters, actually they do ha they have the same thing, it's called a capacity Im Im improvement fee, but they take it from their existing customers. So JUI has a surcharge, I think of $12 for each customer per month. And West Virginia American Water kind of pulls that money from the rest of their customers to pay for development in other places. All right, Jeff Witten via telephone, also a member of the Charlestown Utility Board. Jeff, can I have your input on this? Yeah, um, first thing I wanted to point out is <clears throat> they have, um, West Virginia American Water has not hidden the fact that utility rates will go up. They've even acknowledged, uh, they said from like 42% up to 125%. So that's not, that's not a guess on our part. That is uh, verbatim what they have, have stated. However, they believe that, um, they also stated that um, their intention of coming into the Eastern Panhandle is to, um, to go into a, a large growth area uh, unlike the rest of the state, to help their shareholders. So clearly, it's it's something for their shareholders. It's not to help the uh, the ratepayers of, of West Virginia. I'm sorry, of Jefferson County. Um, it's something that's to help the shareholders of West Virginia American Water, which we don't think is good for Jefferson County. John Gilstrap. <clears throat> when we talk about distressed utilities, what does that mean? The Public Service Commission has a process to establish whether or not a, a utility is distressed. In both the cases of Shenandoah Junction and Cave Road, 
the Public Service Commission ha- has deemed those utilities as distressed. Um, what, does that, that, what does it mean? So it basically means that they're not meeting effluent uh, criteria, um, DEP and EPA um, uh, requirements for the effluent. Um, they either the and other components of this facility might be. If we got some some materials in to prepare for the show, some legal stuff that's being uh, testimony t- testimony. Thank you. And it seems to be the, the there's a common thread that a lot of these facilities need to just be scrapped and and replaced. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So isn't that isn't a rate increase needed in order to fund that kind of uh, I mean, we're talking about sixty seventy year old systems as, as i recall so don't they have to be replaced and if they have to be replaced doesn't that require a rate increase it's a, in the instance that the those utilities would be connected to the charlestown utility board there would not be a rate increase for the customers um, we've provided the financial analysis that shows that we can decommission those facilities connect them to our system without any impact to the ratepayer. Uh, the alternative would be that those facilities are acquired by West Virginia American Water and there would be significant rate increases. So if you could wave a magic wand and, and have things settle out just as you would like them to be, what would that look like? I think we would uh, support the purchase agreement to an extent um, of JUI by West Virginia American Water. We would uh, like to see Shenandoah Junction, the environmental issues there, um, taken away, connected to our system. Um, same with Cave Road, Water, and Sewer. And to go to the very basic element of all of this, you, you turn on a faucet and you get and you get water. You flush the toilet, stuff goes away, right? So obviously there's a lot of infrastructure that goes into this. When one buys a utility, what are they actually buying? All, it's all of the infrastructure, all the employees, all of, is that, that all part of what they're purchasing? Yes. And that is outside of Charlestown, which is a public utility, I think you said, that's all private? Uh, yes, exactly. I, I would bet most of us didn't know that. I did not know that. <laughs> right? uh, so... Why can you provide service without having to increase rates? And why does the other organization need to raise rates by up to 125%? So the, I think the Charlestown Utility Board is in a very favorable financial position. Um, we recently completed a consolidation of utilities in the region, um, City of Ranson, Sewer System, and the De- Jefferson County Public Service District. Um, so we have, you know, we have a good customer base. Um, we have roughly 6,400 water customers and 8,400 sewer customers. Um, so we, we have that ability. I think we've been very fiscally responsible um, in planning. And so, you know, the other, the other aspect is that our utility is just quite frankly closer um, mm-hmm. to, you know, getting those facilities connected to existing infrastructure. We have the treatment plant in place that meets Chesapeake Bay criteria. Um, So I think that's how how the Charlestown Utility Board can accomplish that. West Virginia American water rates are set by the Public Service Commission and their proposal is to um, immediately implement their existing rates. Who ultimately makes this decision? The Public Service Commission. And there is a meeting about that today. There is a public hearing this evening at 6.30 tonight at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Um, And after the public hearing, there's a set of uh, responses that are necessary from all parties. And then I believe that the Public Service Commission will be making a decision on this later this month. What would you encourage the people of Jefferson County who could be affected by this to do tonight? I would encourage everyone that um, in the community to attend the public hearing to hopefully get uh, you know the information on the situation and uh, speak up. Billy, well, yeah, I'm confused now. I'm sorry, I'm totally confused. Okay. Uh, the uh, there's going to be a rate increase, uh, but you folks are not arguing against that rate increase. All you're arguing against. Uh, these three utilities not to be conveyed as part of the the big sale 
Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, uh, so, so when we're talking about rate increase at forty to forty-five percent to one hundred twenty-five percent, that's probably going to happen. You're not going to wade in one way or the other, or or are you? We are not. We are. We are not in opposition, and yeah. quite frankly, because we're not prepared to uh, to to offer an equivalent um, purchase price that West Virginia American Water is. Sure. Um, so you mentioned uh, uh, a couple of extensions. I think in the case of Shenandoah Junction, it's going to be a thousand feet. Roughly, yes. Uh, how much will you assume that cost, or will uh, who will assume that cost? We have. A, we will assume that cost. Um, how much will that be? You have any idea? Uh, roughly a million dollars for Shenandoah Junction. I want to say yeah. maybe nine hundred thousand. Um, and again, we've done the financial analysis yeah. that demonstrates we can a- accomplish that without yeah. any impact to yeah. those customers. Yeah, and uh, that's I, I'm not surprised that amount of money. It's all it's pretty expensive. This hard rock. Yes. Did, what about the uh, uh, the Cave Road, three thousand feet? Cave Road, and, and I apologize, I don't have the exact yeah. numbers, but it's you know roughly in the two million dollar okay. range. Um, and we again, we are prepared to decommission that facility, get rid of the environmental concerns, and um, we can do that again without any impact to those customers. Uh, so to kind of summarize, we're talking about three utilities that you're trying to hope not be conveyed to West Virginia uh, American Water. Is, uh, and the Public Service Commission is supportive of your position, I believe. The Public Service Commission staff was very staff, supportive staff, of yeah. our exactly. of our position. Yeah. Yes. What about American Water? Are they going to fight you on these three utilities, or do you know? The hearing was contentious, or I would say. On, on, uh, what, on, on what grounds? Why were they contentious? I think that you know they they um, have evaluated this purchase and included what they'd like to see. Um, so you know it's just I, I don't know that. <laughs> so again, we're not opposed to West Virginia American Water per yeah. se. I don't necessarily think it's a good thing for the the, the county, but um, you mm-hmm. know we're not going to oppose sure. that. So you're talking about two hundred out of uh, uh, three thirty three hundred that they, that's in question right now. Correct. Okay. And uh, Jeff, I'm going to come back to you here for a moment. Uh, are we missing anything in the things we've covered so far this morning? No, I, I agree that we're not opposed to the purchase of the water assets themselves. But, you know, as far as the public hearing goes, I think it's important for the citizens of Jefferson County to understand that this does affect their long-term rates. Um, and I would encourage people to come out and, and voice their concern or their support if they want to, uh, because it's going to have a, a dramatic impact on ratepayers in the future. So I think it's important that at least the public is um, aware of what is going on. Well, Jeff, will at the public hearing tonight, will the public understand that your the utility position is not for the overall rate increase, but it's only for these three small utilities? Will that be explained? I believe it will be. Um, I think we've made it clear in the, since the beginning that, um, you know, we never intended to purchase uh, JUI, um, you know, especially for $30 million. And I think the other thing to consider is one thing that became, you know, clear at the hearing is that there's, you know, there's a, there's a purchase price set that they want to put on the backs of the rate payers, but there's no real justification for that, that price. So that would set a precedent for people to come into any, you know, um, water um, area come in and say well we're going to buy it for 100 million and we want the ratepayers to pay for it um that that i think is the dangerous precedent that would be set if they were allowed to purchase it um the way it's been um proposed right now yeah as i uh, uh, i've not had the experience with the public service commission that you folks have but i have had some experience with them and they are pretty cautious before they raise the rates too much so the uh, uh, so they it has to be demonstrated to them I'm going to use the two numbers you have uh, 45 to 125 percent if I had to wager based on past experience with Public Service Commission the rate increase would be at the lower end as opposed to the upper end the, the PSC ultimately makes the ruling on rates that's correct? right yes that's correct right. and, and there has to be does there have to be a public hearing about a rate increase before it it is uh, voted in that's the hearing tonight that is the yes so that's reason. the importance of uh, attending speaking up on these issues um the public service commission will be making a decision here in the next couple of weeks and the, and there's no is there a choice of no rate increase or is the choice right now between a minimum rate increase of 45 percent and a maximum of 125 so the the 
rate increase varies amongst the customers, um, but the range is 45% to 125% depending on where they are. So that's the, that'll be the range that's set um, by the Public Service Commission. This just seems so capricious. I mean, there has to be some justification for one number versus the other. 45%, we, we get chocolate syrup and, and, and nuts on top, and for 125%, we get steak, right? So what within the, the world of, of the water in the commission, what is the difference between the 45 and the 125? It's not like you're just throwing darts on a board. Right. So the the I guess the big difference is um, there's multiple utilities that have different rate structures currently. What is being proposed is the conversion of those rate structures to the West Virginia American Water um, single structure, which is significantly higher than what the customers in Jefferson County are seeing. So as an example, Cave Road Utility, they're the ones seeing the highest rate increase. 50 customers, very old system. They have currently have a flat rate 50 of, customers 50 customers 50 yeah. okay. yes so um you know they're paying a flat rate right now of 40 dollars. their uh, bill is going up 125 percent uh is the christian is the sale contingent upon a rate increase yes it's sale is contingent on rate. yes they so yes if public service commission does not agree a certain amount then american water will back out of the oh uh, well i guess i shouldn't say that i i shouldn't uh, i can't commit to that um the but the what i will say is that the agreement is very specific that the west virginia american water rates would be set for all the customers immediately yeah. Okay. Um, now, there, as practice, uh, there will be a representative from the Public Service Commission in attendance tonight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mayor Trainer, final thought. Just had a couple things to add. Um, there would be no adverse impact, I don't think, to, Jefferson, or to Cave Road Utilities and Senator Junction. There will be a positive aspect if Charleston Utility Board accepts they're affluent and they're, they're, the, cust or they're the, uh, the service provider. The other thing is we do care about high rates, even though they're not in the Charleston Utility Board mm -hmm. area. As a citizen of Jefferson County, I'm very concerned that my neighbors are going to be paying higher rates for water with no advantage. It's the same water. It's Everything's the same. The only it seems to me that the only reason they're paying the higher rates is because there was a higher uh, uh, bargain on selling Jeff Jefferson Utility. So it's not that we're not concerned. We are concerned. But... That the fight that Charleston Utility Board is making is for these distressed utilities. The, could I could pick up on that? I understand. Thank you for explaining that. The the uh, meeting tonight is it been advertised to cover both of these issues: the overall rate increase and the acquisition of these three small utilities. It's been advertised to cover both of those. Yes, yes, okay. it has. And uh, Jeff, a final thought from you. Yeah, I mean, and, and as uh, Mayor Trainer said, uh, uh, we are concerned, just as citizens, we are concerned about the rate increases. Um, and, and I just hope that the public is listening to this and will realize uh, the importance of attending the meeting tonight. So I just want to encourage everyone to come out to that meeting and uh, at least educate yourself on what's going on and, and have a voice. Kristen, as the GM, you get the final word. Uh, I, I just appreciate the opportunity to uh, get this message out. Um, I think it's been a very good discussion. Um, and again, I, I hope everybody uh, attends the meeting tonight and speaks up. And Which is at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Jefferson yes. County Courthouse, did you say 6.30? 6.30. 6.30, yes, very good. And there will be no final decision made tonight. That will come after they consider all the information. Correct. All right. Thank you all very much for coming in today and bringing this to our attention. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you. All right.